Hey guys, what's up? This is Trent with RicesForDinner.com. Uh, welcome to my messy desk. It's been a long time since I've uploaded a new video to this channel, uh, but I've been busy developing some other YouTube channels and working on some other projects in which I've been collecting camera gear. Uh, I got this small HD monitor the other day off of uh, an eBay auction. It works great. It's an older model. It's only four inches or so, but uh, it's an awesome little monitor. And then I found this ICANN monitor also on eBay. The seller had told me that it was working uh, 100%. Um, by 100%, maybe they just meant that it was working. I could get an image using the video input here, uh, but the HDMI wasn't working. And that's kind of the only reason I got it because to use the video port, I have to plug this cable into the AV out of my Nikon and then plug the yellow and white end of that cable into this jack and then plug that into here. And that's just too many cables. Um, and I just wanted to do HDMI to HDMI. You get a better signal that way, but the HDMI wasn't working. So I took it apart. I think I've got it figured out. This is gonna be one of the easiest uh, repairs that I've done. I think, hopefully it works out. Um, this is my usual microscope camera, which is currently on the fritz. So I've got my Nikon attached to my microscope and we're gonna attempt to film uh, the soldering portion of this using that. So I'm gonna sit this camera down and uh, in my post editing, I'll probably do a picture in picture or side by side or <clears throat> cut between the two as I go through this. Um, turn on my other camera. Okay, so this is the HDMI port uh, right here. And you can see uh, the port itself looks pretty good it's clean it's no damage no bent pins but when you look at the solder connections see if i can get that centered there we go um, virtually all of these pins are loose none of them are connected i don't know if that's going to show up on uh my little video here all of these pins are loose and i suspect that that's because when uh, the monitor is mounted like this and you have an hdmi cord plugged into it it's usually a big heavy cord and the downward pressure that the cord applies if you don't have some sort of stress relief on the cord then it may have popped all of those soldered connections off um, at some point. It doesn't appear that this has been replaced by anybody, uh, but none of those solder points are actually soldered right now. So what we're gonna do is the world's easiest repair, uh, and that is just to reflow old solder. And we may add some new solder. We'll see how it goes here. So we're gonna take um, a tiny soldering iron. We're gonna add some flux. And we're gonna go through and remelt the solder connections here. Okay, we're gonna clean off the old flux. See what these joints look like and make sure they're all connected and that looks good all of them are connected to the circuit board and i don't know if that's gonna it's not gonna look good at all uh, so we're gonna put it back together and test it out Thank you. 
Now we'll mount the monitor to the camera. We'll power it on, attach an HDMI cord. And as you can see here at the top, HDMI input is working. The focus works pretty good. The monitor looks great. And here you can see focus peaking is activated. Everything that the monitor thinks is in focus is highlighted in red. So that aspect works. And here's all the menus that you can scroll through, make some adjustments to the settings. Here it has a check field option. You can check it against blue, red, green, or monochrome. And that is it, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. Click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next video.